What's up, everybody? This is John with John Fair Innovations, bringing you another math lesson. And today, I'm going to be continuing on my previous lesson, which was how to calculate the minima and the maxima of a function. Now, before you get into the video, if you enjoy this, do make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment on maybe another math topic you'd like me to tackle. And if you really enjoy the video, do make sure you hit that subscribe button because it really does help out the channel. So thank you so much for those who have done that in the past. So in the previous video, I showed you how to do the minima and the maxima test to see if the function does, in fact, have a minima or a maxima. Um, now, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be now um, using the fact that we already know one has a minima or a maxima, and we're going to be determining this value. So the function that we've got here today is going to be negative 5x squared plus 4x minus 3. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calculating whether this one has a minima or a maxima. So the first thing we would do is, is we would find the derivative. So the first derivative is going to be using our number rule. So it's going to be 2 times negative 5, x to the power of 2 minus 1, 4 times 1, um, x to the power of 1 minus 1, and then any time we have a constant, in this case 3, we just multiply it by 0 to get its derivative. And so that derivative is going to leave us with negative 10x plus 4. Remembering that x to the power of 0 is just the same as 1. So that's really 4 times 1, which is going to be 4. So we'll be left with um, the first derivative of y is going to be negative 10x plus 4. Now, let's say, for example, we didn't know whether we're going to get a minima or a maxima. So now we do our, our minima or maxima test. So we take the second derivative. So we do this again. So that's going to be uh, 1 times negative 10. And then we're going to the power of 1 minus 1. And then we're multiplying by a constant. So that's going to be 4 times 0, leaving us with negative 10 times 1, which is negative 10 x to the power of 0 plus 0, and then obviously x to the power of 0 just means times by 1, so that's going to leave us with uh, negative 10. So therefore, we know that this function is going to be a maxima, because we have a negative value in our solution. So as the second derivative is less than 0, that's going to mean that um, it is a maxima. So now what we want to do is we want to calculate this maxima. So um, what we need to do is we need to go back to our first derivative. So our first derivative was that we calculated before was negative 10 of x plus 4. So when we're finding our maxima or our minima, what we need to do is we need to set our function to 0 for our first derivative. So that means that the function, the first derivative of y is going to equal 0. So when we put that into our calculation, that's going to read as 0 equals negative 10x plus 4. And we, what we want, we want to do is we want to solve for x now to get our maxima value. So first thing what we need to do is we need to get rid of the constant because we want to isolate the x. So we're going to subtract 4 by both sides, leaving us with negative 4 equals negative 10 of x. And now we want to get rid of that negative 10, so we're going to divide both sides by negative 10, and that's going to leave us with 4 over 10, because um, the two negatives will cancel out, um, equals x, because the, the two negative 10s will equal uh, 1, and if we multiply that by 1, that's just going to give us x. Um, so it would be 4 over 10, um, 2 over 5 is another way we written, or simply as... Um, x equals 0 0.4. Now, the last thing then we need to do is with this value is we need to substitute it back into our original equation if we want to get the coordinate. So we'll want to find um, the function of y when x equals 0 0.4. So when we put that into our calculation, that's going to be negative 5 multiplied by 0 0.4 squared plus 4 multiplied by 0 0.4 minus of 3. And then when we calculate that, 5 times 0 0.4 squared 
is going to leave us leave us with negative 0.8. Uh, 4 times 0 0.4 is going to leave us with 1.6 and then minus 3. And then when we... And then when we simplify this, so negative 8 plus 1.6 minus 3 is going to leave us with negative 2.2. And so, so that means that our maxima is at the point of x equals 0 0.4 and y equals negative 2.2. And if we have a look at this graph, for example, um, we can visually see what's going on here. We can see that um, I've got here our derivative, which was negative 10x plus 4, and our value of negative 5x squared plus 4x minus 3. And as you can see, the maxima, so the highest point on this curve, is in the exact same spot as when our derivative is set to 0. Well, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoy that. Please let me know if there's another math topic you'd like me to discuss. But always, stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you next time.